Hello, Ted Greenfield, over 50 and learning to fly. And sometimes I don't have the cameras rolling because they're a distraction. And that's a safety issue because if I'm doing something where I kind of need to focus on flying or maybe I just don't want to make a video that day and I just want to fly, um, I go ahead and I don't set up the cameras. However, the only bad thing about that is then what if something happens? And what if something that would make an awesome program happens and you don't have your cameras rolling? Well, that's exactly what happened a couple days ago when I was coming from Fort Myers up to Sierra Papa Golf, St. Petersburg in Florida. I noticed as I'm flying along, my radio started acting a little funny and the transmit light was working. Um, but then I went to key up once and nothing happened and I stopped and I keyed up again and transmitted just fine. But I kind of had some, you know, some funky things going on and I looked and I noticed that the red flag on my turn indicator was illuminated. Then I went to key up my mic and there was nothing. I mean nothing. The little transmit light was transmitting, but I can hear fine and I couldn't transmit and then there was nothing. So then to isolate the problem, I reached across and pushed this push to talk button and there was still nothing. So I knew it was a problem with the radio. So the first thing I did is I squawked 7600. That is exactly what you're supposed to do and that's exactly what I did. I squawked 7600 and I pushed ident and then this happened. 2214 Yankee, December 11th, uh, 2214 Yankee, out of here, Tampa. 2214 Yankee, I see the ident, you can go ahead and start your descent into Albert Whip. Start your descent into Albert Whip. 2214 Yankee, if you hear it, Tampa, coach, I don't again. Picture just 1064. 1214 Yankee, I got you, the ident, now you can try to contact Albert Tower 127.4. Just uh, proceed traded for uh, the left base for my 1-8. So at this point, Sierra Papa Golf was expecting me and I already knew what to do and I had the airport generally in sight. I was uh, still pretty far out and they had given me descent instructions. So I descended down to 1100 and then um, Sierra Papa Golf Tower was contacting me and they said, please ident, please ident. And I hit ident, I hit ident, and then I saw across the screen, transponder failed. And I'm like, well, this is, that is just great. And then everything went black. I mean, this whole stack went black. Uh, the good thing is the Garmin G5s were still on. And that was great. I still had my primary flight instruments. But at this point, I was actually already turning a left base for runway 25 and it was fine. So I, as I was kind of turning, I saw all the airplanes getting out of the way and I just made a normal landing and came back to the FBO and the first thing I did was get out of the plane, kind of, you know, catch your breath. And we went over into the FBO and I called the control tower and I just thanked them and just checked in with them, told them everything was fine and came back out and turned everything back on again and all the electronics came back on. So I checked the battery and sure enough, my battery in the back, the big 12 volt battery was sweating and um, it was obvious that just like a car battery or a boat battery, I needed that battery checked out and probably needed it replaced. And the, the maintenance facility came in and took it and what had happened was the alternator belt had been slipping for a while, so it was pulling a large draw off the battery and the battery was probably about five years old, which is long overdue for a change. And I swapped out the battery, got a new battery, took her for a test flight yesterday and the plane works fantastic. So the moral of the story is, if you have the slightest problem, make sure the first thing you do is squawk 7600. When I squawk 7600, the controller said, we see your ident, or we have your ident, I believe. And then he probably called ahead to Sierra Papa Golf Tower, told him I was coming in, and everyone knew what to do. Had I not squawked 7600 right away, and then the whole panel would have failed, then, you know, they wouldn't have been, they wouldn't have known what to expect. 
and um, that would leave air traffic control in a bad situation because they wouldn't know what's going on. So at the first sign of trouble, go ahead, Squawk 7600, that's what it's for, and the system worked. All of our safety systems worked, and we came down without incident, and it was a temporary problem, and all was fine. So, moral of the story is, first sign of problem, Squawk 7600, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave your comments below, let me know what you think, and thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.